there, my name is Susan McCreary. I'm a resident of Palm Beach County, Florida. And um, just really thankful to have unknowingly acquired a collection relating to um, an incredible man, um, a Lieutenant General, a World War I hero, one of the early founders of the American Legion, a dedicated son and a brother. Um, his name was Lieutenant General Milton J. Foreman. I acquired the collection when I purchased a furnished condominium, and it was owned by a lady named Margo Hirschbein. At the time I acquired the condo, she had already passed, and her estate was being handled by an attorney. And he told me she had no heirs. Lieutenant General Foreman, although he had no um, children, and he was never married. His sister Gertrude had married, I believe his name was Joseph Hirschbein. So Margot was somehow related to Joseph, but Margot ended up with all of this, and obviously um, so did I. So it's been a journey getting to know about him. Um, I've grown to love the man and just respect his contributions to our country, to the world, and um, his sacrifices. Well, I've always known the American Legion um, includes many selfless members who are service oriented. So to me, it kind of made perfect sense that he would be involved. I learned a lot about the early history of the organization. He was the representative at the Paris Caucus. Um, so it was interesting to see how it all came about. In one, one article, he was described as um, having the American Legion having started in his briefcase, I'm sure along with other gentlemen who were founders as well. It's amazing how an initiative like that can grow to be um, a valuable service force for decades to come. His Armistice Day address to the University of Illinois students is just fascinating. I read it over and over and I, I always come back with um, another new insight. He reminded us that our individual lives call on us so constantly for courage and decision, whether our company happens to be at war or not, that good fibers never usually soften. He says, no, peace is wholly desirable. War is wholly undesirable from every point of view. So it just kind of hones into when he was born, it called for him to follow a life of sacrifice and courage and decision. And he fulfilled the role very well. I think it's just kind of human nature um, when you kind of gain insights into the sacrifices that you know, another human being made alive or dead, you, you gain a respect um, for them. And um, his specific sacrifices at that time in our history were just so significant. And he always seemed to choose the harder path that yielded the greatest impact for his fellow man. When it would have been easy to relinquish any responsibility or um, not, not undertake any new um, task that came before him. He always seemed ready. He seemed um, willing to do whatever it took for his, his city, his state, his country, and his, the world.